Hi, I'm Nadia Dunn. Welcome to IDX TV. We're here at the Package Fulfillment Logistics and Delivery Expo here in Cincinnati. And I'm delighted to be joined by Seth from Cincinnati Airport. Seth, thank you so much for being here. Nadia, it's a pleasure to be with you. Now, tell us about the airport. We've sure. all had to get here uh, <laughs> via the airport. Yes. Um, tell us about it and your role there. No, absolutely. So uh, we're very excited this year. The first time that the Package Fulfillment Logistics and Delivery Expo has been in North America. So we're very pleased uh, that it's here in Cincinnati. And CVG, the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, is actually the seventh largest cargo airport in North America. And we are very pleased that as of a month or two ago, are in the top 20 globally. So there's a lot happening here in the logistics space. And obviously, um, I lead our corporate communications team. So I'm very glad to share that story with the world. And I saw that you won an award for the best service uh, yes. in 2022, right? Yes. No. So you all know Skytrax, which is, uh, they're, they're based out of the UK. Uh, but rank airports globally um, on everything from, you know, the overall experience, concessions program, and we're very excited that I think it was maybe two or three weeks ago, uh, we were named the best uh, airport in North America for staff service. So we're very proud of our team, uh, both on the passenger side, obviously very busy uh, moving people uh, as we recover from the pandemic, and then also on the cargo side, we have a tremendous, tremendous team of more than 16,000 badge holders that work on the campus, the airport campus. Well, congratulations Thank for that. You. That's amazing. Um, now, tell us, how have the last couple of years been for you? Yeah, no, Nadia, it's a great, a great question. You know, I think globally, right, the airport industry has really uh, borne the brunt of, uh, of the pandemic, right? Uh, in April of 2020, right, the, a few weeks into the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, we bottomed out, as did many airports. Uh, we were very grateful, uh, of course, on the cargo side to really have a lifeline, right? As, as uh, consumer behavior changed, mm -hmm. uh, DHL and Amazon Air are, are hubbed at CVG and FedEx and Atlas Air also have a presence. So, of course, e-commerce and logistics really carried us through as an airport uh, community, mm -hmm. but we've struggled obviously in the two intervening years to really recover our passenger traffic. And now this summer, it really is starting to come back. We've seen so many airports that are struggling um, with labor mm -hmm. and queues that are, are falling yes. because of this. What's happening at Cincinnati? Do you, are you having yeah. those problems? N yes, I think it's, it's um, you know, uh, pandemic workforce related issue that's plaguing all airports across the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so Cincinnati is not immune from that. Uh, we are primarily uh, an O&D airport, which means most of the passengers on a average year, we serve more than 9 million passengers. Um, and so most of those people are either and beginning or ending their trips at Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're very lucky now to have a diversified group of more than 12 carriers, uh, which is good for a market on our side, on the passenger side. And we, as that award from Skytrax, I, I think, uh, uh, Proved. We have a wonderful team, uh, and I think as we kind of ramp back up from the pandemic, I think we're catching up hopefully uh, quicker than most on staffing levels to make sure that those queues, whether it's the security uh, checkpoints, the immigration uh, uh, processing, or even just the airline check-in move quickly. Uh, and we're very proud that usually folks get uh, through the airport very quickly. And are other airports uh, dealing with those challenges appropriately and, and fast enough for Oh, sure. No, I think I think the industry, you know, our CEO, Candace McGraw, is uh, is vice chair of our global trade group, Airports Council International. And, you know, I know she was traveling as they start to reconvene meetings and such. It's been such a hot topic across really the global industry and and everyone is making concerted efforts. Right. Mm -hmm. We've taken steps to uh, for the airport authority itself you know, make sure our pay is very competitive. Uh, I think we're always keen to make sure that uh, the culture and the community of the airport itself is a great place to work. Uh, so I think you're seeing other airports do that mm -hmm. and get back on their feet. What we're really 
proud of, Nadia, of course, is the cargo side. Uh, and I think you've seen where DHL particularly, as well as Amazon and, and others in that, um, in that car air cargo environment have really um, gone above and beyond to mm -hmm. make sure that they're processing things quickly. We often think about processing passengers, yeah. but of course, relevant to our, uh, our expo here in Cincinnati now, um, it's just been tremendous to watch our cargo partners move goods um, th through our airport to get onward to North and South America mm -hmm. and really globally. Well, tell us a bit more about the cargo yeah. side. What are the, the trends that you've been seeing over the last year and, and into the next year? What are we seeing? No, sure. So um, I'm sure you've had other guests talking about uh, what what trends have looked like and what's to come. But at least from our vantage point, it's it's interesting from the airport perspective, right? We're, we're in the business of infrastructure uh, to support all of that activity. Uh, so uh, I think we've been really focused throughout the pandemic and even before that in making sure our partners have everything they need to succeed, whether it was rehabilitating runways to ensure that heavier aircraft, uh, you know, that, that use that that asset often are moving uh, expeditiously. We're really focused and working together with them on that. Uh, what what we've seen in working with them, right, has been really the boom of e-commerce, mm -hmm. right? Those consumer behaviors really changed. I shouldn't say changed, right? They were already happening. Mm -hmm. The pandemic accelerated yeah, those changes, yeah. right? So for a segment with e-commerce that's still in the U.S., mm -hmm. right, in the States is only 14%, 15% of overall retail sales, there's so much more room to grow. And we see that a lot of these partners, whether it's FedEx, DHL, Amazon particularly, are really capitalizing on that. And I think there will just be more to come, right? Mm -hmm. So Amazon has operated out of CVG since May of 2017. They worked with DHL right. out of their facility and then were in the process of building their own dedicated facilities. So now in fall of last year, opened up the first phase of their $1.5 billion air hub for, for North America. And it's been incredible to watch, but you've seen the capacity that they've considered mm -hmm. or what they have planned, right? So they have about 24, 25 based aircraft, a lot of Boeing 767s, 777s based at our airport. We know that they have plans to grow that number tremendously as they grow their business. So I think it's a, I think it's a sign of mm -hmm. certainly what's to come uh, when you look at e-commerce sales overall. And then the unique... Uh, position that not only CVG but this part of our of the country, the Midwest U.S., mm -hmm. uh, serves in geographically being very close to a lot of the U.S. population, mm -hmm. but also being a really good access point to get to both Europe and Asia Pacific uh, within you know a relatively short amount of time. Yeah, and is the, is the sustainability issue coming into play at absolutely. all? Are more and more companies talking about that? Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm so glad you brought it up. Because um, DHL and Amazon, as well as Atlas Air and some of our other partners at the airport, really were some of the leaders. As you know, DHL, uh, I think uh, by 2030, has set very ambitious worldwide uh, CO2 emissions mm -hmm. and other sustainability goals that really, for a global company in the transportation sector, have to be firing on all cylinders. Absolutely. Um, so CVG is actually the second largest uh, global super hub in the DHL network for their express division. Mm -hmm. uh, so of course, number one is Leipzig, Germany, uh, kind of home base in Germany. And then CVG is number two and Hong Kong is number three. So as part of that network, right, CVG and their operation, it plays an outsized role in their carbon reduction strategy, right? right? So we've worked together, all that to say, we've worked together with them on an effort to really uh, promote the production and consumption of sustainable aviation fuels, right? So of course there's lots that's happening in automotive or their ground equipment or their fleet of vehicles to, uh, you know, electrify or reduce carbon. Mm -hmm. But, you know, aviation is a really difficult sector right now to decarbonize. Mm -hmm. Sustainable aviation fuel or SAF is really the best way to do that in the near and medium term. And we're really proud to be leading kind of a, 
a statewide coalition in Kentucky uh, with DHL, with Amazon, with others to uh, push for incentives for the use mm. of uh, SAF, as well as to really increase production because it's that classic supply and demand Correct. predicament at the moment. Well, that is really great to hear. Yeah. And yeah, good luck for the future. That's great. Thank, thank you so you. much for your time, Seth. No, thank you, Nadia. Thank you. And thank you for watching IDX TV brought to you by CCL.